Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Noelle and I review and unbox subscription boxes here on my channel. And today I am so excited to finally get to share with you the latest free spirit bundle, which has been sent to me for review by the amazing Victoria and her team. If you're not familiar, free spirit bundle is a quarterly home decor subscription. It is just $269.99 per quarter. And that does include the shipping, which I think is phenomenal considering the size and often the weight of the boxes. And then of course, course, the quality of the items, the uniqueness of them is just so, so fantastic. Now, you don't see very many home decor subscriptions on my channel for a variety of reasons. I actually live in a really small space. It's just my husband and myself, so I have to be very selective with the items, the pieces that I bring into my home. I want them to be something that I can use year-round. I want them to have longevity. I want them to be unique, and that is the case with all of the items that we get from Free Spirit Bundle, so it is a good one that checks all the boxes for me and it checks some other boxes as well so you're always going to get four to seven gorgeous items they're items that victoria has selected and used in her own home to make sure that it's something that's going to work in your home too and it's really this very cool eclectic style so kind of a boho chic vibe she does a really good job of balancing mixing all kinds of materials and textures and even though sometimes it is a little bit more maybe vintage or boho than my usual very clean, very minimal style. They are pieces that I have come to absolutely adore, like that pillow back there behind me. Just absolutely love them. Now I will say at time of filming, you guys, there were only about a dozen of this box left. So if you have been kind of on the fence about it, this is the time to get in on it. And I do have a code for you so that you can receive a free handmade gift in your box, which is also really, really cool. It's just hi Noel, but don't worry. I'll leave all of that information for you in the description box below but let's go ahead and get into it. Now I will say, you probably saw in the thumbnail, it is a huge box, like it would not even fit in the screen and it was very heavy and I have a very limited sort of uh, desk situation here in terms of space. So I did go ahead and open up the box. Now normally I like to open everything up with you but because everything is so well wrapped, I did go ahead and pull the individual pieces out so that we can spend a little more time with the contents versus just the unwrapping even though I love that process as well. Don't don't worry, there's still some stuff to unwrap. So let's go ahead and get started. So I did have the big old box, huge, huge box. I went ahead and pulled out the individual pieces and right on top, I did see a nice note with a gold wax seal, which of course I love. Uh, I love that personal touch. If you haven't seen this subscription before, there's so much more than a box of stuff because she gives you her design styling tips, not just for the items in the box, but for your own home. They have a really active Facebook group where you can ask questions. You can send a picture of a space that you need a little help with. She can even find you items at designer prices in terms of her getting you those discounted great prices to make it possible to transform your home. And I forgot to tell you, they also have a give back element, which we absolutely love, which is the bundle blessing where they choose a family that is in need and they go ahead and transform a whole space for them, one of the rooms. And I just think it is so special that subscribers get to be a part of doing something so, so important important in the lives of so many people. So all right, let's 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 go back to the notes. So it just says, hi, Noel. thank you for sharing our August bundle. I hope these items inspire you. Love, Victoria. So yes, if you are a subscriber, you've already gotten your bundle. She's great about having everything all planned out ahead. So I hope that if you are uh, and you're kind of unboxing or you already are just savoring your items and just watching this video to support the channel, I hope you, that you are loving them. So, and if you are not a subscriber yet and you're gonna get in on one of those last bundles that is available, one of those last 12 or 13 of them, then I, I want to know how you like to open things up. Do you like to open with your favorite unboxing channel? Do you like to get a glass of wine and just open one piece at a time? I will say I kind of like that idea of just opening one piece at a time and slowly finding the perfect space for it in my home. But this box was so big that I'm like, I need to get these things out and, and homed in different places in my house right away instead of having this big box like kind of staring at me. So, all right, the first thing that was little itty bitty, but I always love that she works with a small business, a woman owned business. And I think that's the case with this item, which is a white citrus artisan soap handmade by the Southern Soap Lady exclusively for Free Spirit Bundle. And it's just a simple little soap bar, but you guys, it smells so good. It's almost like a little uh, fragrance bar that they had in here. Just white citrus. 
Oh, so good. A little bit fruity, very fresh, very summery, perfect. And I love that idea of having a little bit of self-care in your home decor box as well. All right, so let's get into the bigger items. So I think we have one, two, three, four, five, six, plus that soap. So Okay, here we go. So the first one, it's just so beautiful. Everything was nestled into that bigger box like this. And you can see some of the items are hand wrapped like this. Uh, over on their social media, you could see how they do it. Uh, they really put a lot of time and effort into making sure that the presentation is on point. So let me go ahead and pull this off. And they have started doing I love the dried eucalyptus because you can definitely use that for other things. I love that they started put, including a print as well. That was the case in the last one too. So look at this. This is gorgeous. And then on the other side, it has important dates with uh, decorating uh, videos that Victoria is going to do as well as a style guide, which is digital. And you access that with a QR code. But this is just a nice little print that you can have and put in a little space in a little frame if you have one where you rotate your art or of course if you just have one of those little um, photo holders I know that's what I like to do with mine so I'm gonna go ahead and try to unwrap this neatly nicely I try not to like rip too much stuff but sometimes just because I do my continuous take videos sometimes I gotta go a little bit faster but I do love the unwrapping process when I'm personally watching unboxing videos sometimes I know they just cut and they save us all of that noise and all of the mess and they go ahead and put things together so sometimes you don't always see things totally put together and assembled on my channel because I like to share that nice sound of opening up the bubble wrap and slicing the tape with my exacto knife and occasionally dropping things on the floor all right so something is in here and I'm I'm looking for my little tag because usually there is a tag that tells us what it is all right I'm seeing some hardware so it looks like something that's gonna go in um, on the wall. I don't know if it's like gonna be a picture frame. I know that there are other channels that have already opened this up. I didn't see a little, I didn't see a little cart. Oh, there it is, haha, <laughs> I found it. Let me put this off to the side, uh, slamming the slamming the drawer. So then we have tissue inside. This is gorgeous. This is beautiful. I think I I did sneak a peek over on Christie's channel. So as you can see, there's a little there's a little tag on each of the items. So this says, "Solve your need for more space by hanging me in the bathroom. My little cubby is a perfect place for your handmade soap. Use me for decorative items, spices, and more." So you guys, it is a shelf, and I love the look of these um, wall shelves that you just put into the space so here is where the hardware is gonna go and then yes you can put all kinds of things up here if you want it to be super simple you could just do pillar candles you could also like they said use this as a little cubby for maybe your soaps or what have you if you put it in the bathroom this would be great in an entryway as a space for your valet I just love the wood of this like I said she's got this really cool boho eclectic style I love natural wood just because it keeps my space from getting a little bit too modern a little too contemporary and cold which can be the case when you like sort of Scandinavian design this is something I'll absolutely use and this is great because it actually gives me more shelf space which is something that in my limited home limited space home I really need more of in terms of just putting books or like all the little um, decorative pieces that I get in different boxes um, I love the idea of just putting candles on it I also love the idea of sort of making that my seasonal space because I don't do a lot of seasonal decor but the idea of using that to do little vignettes you know I could use garlands or or wreaths or actual flowers you guys know I love my fresh flowers um so I love the idea of doing something like that I'm trying to think of where I'm going to put this it might actually go well I don't have much space in my bathroom even though I think a shelf like this would be awesome in a bathroom I think I might put it by my entryway uh, which goes right into <laughs> right into my living room uh, just as a space to not have all of my husband's stuff right there on our little like credenza so I think that might be a good idea but I also like the idea of having to be more decorative with maybe just a candle maybe a little bud vase and a picture frame I think that would be really cute as well all right let's go ahead and take a look at another item this is another natural element which I think is really cool 
So it says, I am dried natural Bora and will add great texture to any vase in your home. You can tie a ribbon around me to display me on books or even hang me upside down from a hook for a fun designer touch. And I love that idea. I think this would look really cool in a kitchen. And um, I don't have, so I love the modern contemporary look, but in a kitchen, I kind of love a like modern, not farmhouse, but kind of a modern farmhouse. Like I love open shelving. I think it looks really cool. It does involve a lot of dusting, but I think that something like this would be really neat in a space where you just have, instead of like dried herbs, I guess maybe this is a dried herb that you could just have it hanging upside down. Or like she suggested, let me see, I lost a couple of those, a couple of them. Or you could just have it hanging on the wall like that. You could definitely tie it up with a ribbon for the season to make it kind of match your home decor as well. Or even just a burlap tie or ribbon I think would be really cool. And like she said, you could put it into a vase as well. So I've got a couple little extra pieces. So I'm gonna put that off to the side because we have still so much more. Then we have this cute little like pouch with this sort of, um, is this like muslin or cotton? So it says, my fun waffle weave pattern adds a touch of texture to your everyday set of three washcloths. I am made of 100% cotton and can be thrown in your washer and dryer, and I would make a great hostess gift. And it comes in this cute little pouch too, which I really love. I'm all about like the packaging of things. So this is adorable. Okay, ooh, so it is a set of three. Just really simple, functional. Aren't these beautiful colors? I love this one with almost a pop of like chartreuse. And then we have this one that's like a deep olive green. And then we have this one which is in tan. But they look so great together. They feel really soft and absorbent. They're just kind of smaller. So you could definitely put them in the kitchen. And they have a little loop to hang up to dry, which is nice. Kitchen or definitely even in the bathroom. You could use them as little like washcloths. I think that's really cute. All right, so those can even stack on your shelf if you did put it in the bathroom right there next to like a little scrub and again, a candle. All right, you guys, we have a few things that we have to really open up. So we've already gotten through four, our shelf, our Bora, our little cloths, as well as that artisan soap. We do have another one of these gorgeous packages to open up, which of course I'm always kind of sad to open up because they're so pretty. But let me see if I can find some scissors instead of just... Uh, knifing my way through everything <laughs> as I always do. Uh, I just, I also really love the little tags. It's kind of got that Alice in Wonderland, eat me, drink me in the first person sort of uh, narrative. I love the story. So I think that's kind of a cool thing. You do really tell a story, right, with your home decor and the choices that you make. And so it sometimes seems like counterintuitive to get a subscription box where everyone's getting the same thing. But I love that she gives us such different pieces that it's going to look very different in everyone's home, right? These are things that can be used in different rooms. It's not necessarily just a kitchen item or just a bathroom item. All right, let me go ahead and open up this box. I'm not sure if there was a top or a bottom to it. Oh, I think I opened it from the bottom. Uh oh. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. Let's see if it's got a tag on it. Yes, I did open it from the bottom. Didn't read the uh, text on the side, my bad. Let me put this box off on the ground. This is one of those boxes, you guys, where my office is a mess after I open everything up. Oh my goodness, what is this? It looks like a little, like a sea anemone or something, or like a little town, or those like hoodoos that you see, or um, those little, um, cave homes that you see in Turkey or something. Let me go ahead and pull this washi tape off of here so that you guys can see it in its full glory. Of course, it is ceramic, so we finally, we got another um, material. So we've got that nice, those nice, I think they're probably cotton cloths. So we got, uh, so we got some fabric as well as the wood. We got the Bora and now we've got some nice ceramic. I just have to kind of scrape this washi tape off because it's very cute. It's blue polka dot, but that's kind of taking away from the nice natural glaze of this. It says, I am a one of a kind piece and can be used to display your florals, hold your desk accessories, or used as a taper and votive candle holder. Wow, you guys, I just love that it looks like a little village to me. You could definitely use this to organize your makeup brushes and tools as well. You know, things that are a little bit squattier could do go down there in the bottom. I love the idea of using it as a desk organizer, although I tend to have like a very like clean modern look for 
for my desk just because it's so cluttered and has so much stuff on it. I also think this would be gorgeous as a little uh, bud vase town, right? Like they suggested you could put all kinds of blooms in there or dried florals or even maybe kind of use some of that Bora. I think that would be really, really pretty. Um, a bunch of Gerber daisies or something. I think that'd be cool. You could also even probably plant some succulents in these bigger ones and then sort of have um, you know, the more draping ones coming out of there. I think that would be really pretty as well. I'm sure there's so many great ideas. And you guys, if you have this box, please let me know what you're doing with this. That is definitely one of a kind. Very, very different. It looks really different from every angle across the back. It's a little bit more like smokestacks, but I feel like it's supposed to go like this direction. So really cool, but it did make me think of like a, a sea anemone or something. All right, we have the two biggest items I left for the very end. Now these are not like kind of wrapped up, so I don't know if you guys recognize this. I was actually glad that I watched uh, Christie's unboxing over at Georgia Sunshine because I wouldn't have known what this is because this is not something that we have necessarily here in California a lot or you don't see it that often. I'm going to go ahead and pull this little guy off. So this is a bread box. It says display me in your kitchen as a decorative accent piece. I am ideal for keeping a small loaf of bread or if you love rolls, the oval design will allow a variety of rolls to be stored at the same time. Turn me around to hide my label and I can be used to organize or store anything throughout your home. So so it is just this metal. So now we have another texture, another um, material, and it does say bread. You can see it. It's embossed on this big piece, but you can turn it around like this. It almost looks like an old school hat box, but this sort of... Um, this sort of uh, almost like corduroy effect here kind of gives it a little bit more style. I'm used to the bread boxes that have that like roll up front that are more in the shape of a loaf of bread. I don't use bread boxes, honestly. Uh, I don't have much room on my kitchen counter for one and I don't have a pantry. Like that's how small my kitchen is, you guys. I don't have a pantry. I just have to use some of my cupboards for storing dry foods. But I think this could be really cool. I might be able to find a place for it in my hutch or just kind of hidden in a corner but I think you could use it for so many other things. I think it could be neat as like a magazine rack even. You could put that somewhere if you wanted to. You could even use it as a little trash can with a lid, which is kind of nice as well for the bathroom. I think you could use it for your crafting supplies, particularly if you have some skeins of yarn, right? You could put a bunch of uh, pieces of fabric or crafting supplies in there. Anything else that's kind of soft and that you kind of need to be able to root around. If you have a bunch of scarves, you could put a bunch of scarves scarves in there to just kind of keep everything uh, neatly organized and not looking too messy. But I do love the cream. I like this kind of, it's weirdly sort of vintage feeling because it's a bread box um, and because of this fluting, but also at the same time, it's nice and contemporary because it's just simple and white without a lot of decoration. So the, I was a little skeptical when I first saw that. I was like, I don't know what I'm going to do with this. And then I realized that it actually has so many potential uses. So you guys let me know what you would use it for. Maybe one day I'll have a home that's big enough where I can put it, keep it out on my counter in my contemporary farmhouse kitchen with the exposed shelves. Maybe one day. All right, you guys. We have one final item and this is huge and this one I did start to unpack because I wanted to make sure that I would have time for it but let me just go ahead and read the top. It says, I am made of antique brass, sleek and modern with a touch of rustic. I will add a cozy and functional touch to any living area, bedroom table, entryway or bathroom. My brass finish adds a unique pop that will go with any style. Can you guess what this is? It is, I was like, it's a bowl. <laughs> it's a plane. No, it's, um, it is a lamp. So I have never actually gotten a lamp in a subscription box just because, again, I don't get a lot of home decor. I would be like nervous because lamps can be so like, they can be so personal, such a specific style. This one has, again, kind of a vintage, like mid-century modern, very smooth vibe to it. It almost sounds like a, like a, a singing bowl to me. Um, and I love that it is kind of antique. There is a bit of patina on it. It's not totally like perfect and smooth. So it does feel like maybe you got it. You can see kind of there and here. Um, you can see there, there are some marks on it. So it's almost like you got it from a flea market or you got it from your local store which I think is great like a consignment shop so here is the base now my thing here you guys is I'm not sure where I'm gonna put it because it's kind of an interesting height so I actually think I should uh, see what the height is on this 
um, just because it's not quite like a desk lamp. It feels a little bit high for a desk lamp. And then it's not quite uh, a floor lamp, right? So it's about 25 inches, 24, 25 inches. So I don't have like a credenza or space that's going to be quite... Um, short enough or where this isn't going to feel too tall. I'm just not sure where to put it because I don't have a lot of furniture. So I just have to unscrew this little top piece off. And then of course, you're just going to put your regular bulb in there, a type A 40 watt. So not too, um, not too bright. I don't know if I'll be able to find the hole here. Maybe we'll see. It's like earrings, you guys. It's a little bit tricky sometimes but in theory, it's gonna go right on there and I just can't find it. There it is, Woo, got it. All right, and so we're gonna spin that back on the top and hopefully it doesn't go skittering across the ground because that's probably what's gonna happen here because I'm about to screw it on crooked because you guys are making me nervous, I'm kidding. But I think this is really cool. I just have to figure out where to put it in my house, but this is an example of where it is modern and at the same time feels vintage, right? It feels like something that I would get in a really cool uh, secondhand shop like in Palm Springs or Palm Desert. But you can see, it's just like, it's not quite, it's a little too tall for me to use like as a desk lamp because I don't have like a big fancy library space. Um, and it's definitely too short to have on the floor. And then it's just got this simple cord with a switch, so. I just have to figure it out. I love how simple the base is in this sort of brushed brass finish, but and I love how simple the top is as well because it's not too, too busy, which I, I don't like busy lamps, but I would love to hear what you guys think where I should put it. I definitely know that I'm going to use the shelf. I definitely know that I'll find a use for the bread box, even though it's not my usual style. I think the little vase, the little collection of vases or the organizer is really unique and cool, but I just don't know where to put it. So you guys, I would love to hear what you thought about this box. Another gorgeous collection from Victoria and the team. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up and I will see you all very, very soon in my next unboxing.